Hey peeps, Pinkalos16 here on the tutorial for Mario 64 Movie Maker 2.0. Now, in case anyone's completely unaware, for reasons I have no idea, Mario 64 Movie Maker was on a, was a Windows XP program that slowly died as people moved on to Windows 7. People had to keep their old XPs in order to use, well, better shots and stuff. Now, there is a version for Windows 7 and 8 and stuff that is very very actually very efficient and the tutorial on the initial video is very detailed but not for ROM hacks like Star Wars and such which is what I'll detail here and this is it, what I'm going to go through today so I have beta 3 of the program you know the beta, it, it's a beta release but it's in beta 3 at this current time of recording you may be at a later release where some things may be fixed and if so, I don't know what's going on, but you know, this is working for this version as of currently right now when I'm making this video at the current time frame and period in which I'm making this. So let me just describe this right now. Now I would like to describe these areas as two, as two simple terms instead of just this complex thing which just makes you think, oh god, what the hell's going on? There are frozen areas and unfrozen areas, and I would like to detail them. Finding what a frozen and unfrozen area is pretty simple, and a friend of mine told me this actually. You can find this out in the pause menu. If you press enter on your keyboard or whatever you set your start key to, you will find that in the pause menu you will find if it's either a frozen or an unfrozen area. And a frozen area is if the camera stays where you froze it. Like if it stays and it shows Mario in the same position as when you froze it, like if he's standing right in front of you and if it freezes right behind you where exactly it is, then it's a frozen area. If it zooms out and shows the whole terrain or if it shows some sort of wall or something like showing a massive view, then it's an unfrozen area. Now the tutorial is pretty simple in the initial video to show unfreeze camera to, to unfreeze camera type change camera type for um, unfrozen areas. As Super Mario 64 seems to be laden with areas that have frozen areas next to unfrozen areas, and it's pretty simple. However, in the case of ROM hacks, unfrozen areas can be next to unfrozen areas, and this can be a little confusing. So, I would like to detail a couple of things here. I would like to use Star Roads as an example. There is an unfrozen area in the form of the first location you jump into. The next unfrozen areas next to it reside in the form of Bomb Islands, Skyland Resort, and Chakya Harbor. Piranha Plant Pond, Mushroom Mountain Town, and Gloomy Garden are all frozen areas of their own of their own accord, so don't worry about it, those function just exactly the same as the castle. So, in terms of Bomber Islands, Skyland Resort, and Chakya Harbor, including any other unfrozen area in any hack, which and this technique works for that as well. Essentially, go into a frozen area. I'm going to try and make Bomber Islands a Mario 64 Movie Maker area now. Go into the castle and press change camera type you need and then go outside and press unfreeze camera this will make the outside temporarily a frozen area when you go to the areas with change camera type and you make them able to be used in most of movie maker I would like them to refer to them as being frozen temporarily they will be frozen for the amount of time that you are in that area you know filming in that area and such and because of the fact that they are a frozen area, they can transfer their frozen properties to any unfrozen things around them, which is why the castle can do so with levels in Super Mario 64, as well as the castle in Star Road and any other hack with any other area that is frozen where an unfrozen area resides. I'm sure it's pretty simple to understand with only two terms to work with. Whee! Anyway. So, once you are outside, all you need to do is press un is ch press change camera type next to uh, an unfrozen area, which is Bomber Islands in my case, and then go in and then press unfreeze camera. This will make Bomber Islands once again a frozen area temporarily, and you can use Movie Maker here. I'm 
just using the fourth dimension because, you know, I'm kind of in the middle of filming COAF at the moment. <laughs> well, not necessarily in the middle of filming it, but like, you know, I, can, I, I really want to just show this. I'm sorry. It will work even if, if I don't have textures on it. I'm sorry. So, that's all you need to do. This works with a number of other hacks. If you find out what the frozen areas are, it will work even if you exit the course and if you get a star. You just need to be well timed and all. And it should be pretty well if you set your CPU to pause Project 64 when you're using another window like Mario 64 Movie Maker 2.0. So that's all for today. See you all. Have a good day. Peace.